guys, it is the Muddy Puddle Squad here. This might actually be quite a long video, um, but I'm so happy to do this. I love talking about stuff like this. Um, so recently, a commenter on my YouTube page asked um, if I know of any other unvalidated um, male supercentenarians from 1911 or 12. Um, I mean, 1910, 11, or 12. Um, and anyway, I'm going to make this video um, talking about exactly that. Um, so first of all, we have Rashid Karimov. We're going to start off with youngest and go to oldest, by the way. So we have Rashid Karimov, um, this man from Tajikistan. So this man right here, he claims to have been born on May 9th, 1912. And he claims to be 111 years old and 75 days. Um, so this man, let me go and zoom out my camera a little bit. This man claims to be 111 years old. So my thoughts on him, um, I, I would say that my thoughts on him, I think he's got good odds of actually being the age claimed. Because the GRG um, is actually researching his case right now. And they don't just research anybody's case. I mean, you have to have some decent proof um, to be researched. So I would say that he probably has good odds of being true. Um, plus the fact that he is actually um, a World War II veteran. So that makes it much easier to um, validate his um, certificates, like his birth certificate and all that stuff. Uh, and make it likely that he is the age claimed. So there is Mr. Rashid um, Karimov. And now we have Mr. Mat Matias Vicente Pinacel Mora um, from Venezuela. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I think it's a suspicious coincidence that he has a very similar name to um, the oldest living man in the world who's fully validated, Mr. Juan Vicente Perez Mora. Um, so that's really, really strange. And he's even from the same country as well, Venezuela. Um, so according to the gerontology website, um, he may actually potentially be nine years younger. As you can see, his birth certificate, his birth year was, is, was likely 1921, but the one and the two were mixed up, giving him a birth year of 1912. Um, so I'd have to say it's very unlikely that he is the age claimed, considering that he was actually um, able to walk and ride a horse at the age of 110. I, I, I think that the second one is definitely more accurate, 102 years, not 111. <clears throat> Next, we come to Mr. Joe Baker from uh, the United States. He actually lives in Louisiana. So Mr. Joe Baker claims to be 111 and 176 days old, um, born January 29, 1912. However, um, I've actually done research. This is not the only source that says this. Um, but there is some evidence that has been brought to light that Mr. Baker was probably actually born in 1919 and not in 1912, um, and that he actually exaggerated his year of birth by seven years. So this man is probably more likely only 104 and not 111. That is my opinion, um, but this has never been proven 100%. Um, so the next man, Mr. Josias de Oliveira um, from Brazil, from Tonto. I don't even know how to say that, Tocantinopolis, um, claims to have been born October 21st, 1911, and is 111 years and 276 days old. Um, so this man, um, personally, I'm going to be quite honest with you, I don't know that much about him, but I do know that as of today, July 24th, 2023, um, there is no evidence against this man um, in fact, after Jean, Calin, Jean Salino Noberto was uh, debunked, this man was actually considered um, a claimant for the world's oldest living man in Brazil, um, which is actually a good sign. I mean, they don't just make anybody a claimant. So, you know, the, the gerontology site doesn't make anybody a claimant. Um, third party research teams, independent research teams, and um, just news stations may make those claims. Um, but the gerontology department is very, very uh, reliable, and they don't just make claims like that on anybody. So I would have to say that I probably, I think that he is um, likely to be the age claimed. I would say he is very likely to be the age claimed. Um, but he still needs a lot more documentation and a lot more proof. So the next man, 
Abilio Borges Moreira. Um, so this man was actually just recently released to the public. Um, so he is also a claimant to be the oldest living man in Brazil, born September 9th, 1911, at the age of 111 years. Um, in my opinion, I really don't know. Kind of similar to the last one. I think that he's got a good chance because he's in a very similar situation. Um, he's unvalidated by the GRG, but again, um, they are willing to consider him the oldest known living man in Brazil. So again, those are good, good odds. Um, they don't just make anybody a potential claimant, you know, because this, this right here um, is a very uh, reliable um, group. So again, you know, this is, this is the fandom site, but the GRG itself is actually considering him a claimant. So I would say, again, he's probably very likely the age claimed. Now, the next claimant is Fauha Singh from India, who claims to have been born April 1st, 1911, and is 112 years and 113 days. Now, I'm going to go right off the bat. No, this guy's not 112. For several reasons. Because he is still... Um, running marathons at 112, I highly doubt that he is actually um, <clears throat> 112, just for that reason alone. Um, he has no birth certificate. He has no documentation of age. Um, and the only documentation, the only midlife documentation found for this man um, attests that he was actually born in 1928. And is only 95 and not 112. I mean, that's still impressive that at 95, he's still running marathons. But that's not the same thing as 112. And um, this research done that he was born in 1928, that is not 100% um, proven. It's just, it's likely now that he was actually born in 1928 and not 1911. So the next case we have here, John Walufa Oguero from Boya Village, Uganda. Again, same place. Um, the same place as um, Mr. Singh that we just looked at. He is unvalidated, and he has absolutely no documentation of proof of his age. Um, however, he does have a baptismal certificate um, from February 17th, 1929. But I have a problem with that because the reason that I have a problem with that because um, usually in these cultural um, religions, it's customary to be baptized as a newborn. So I think it is more likely that he was born in 1929 and not 1911. Um, just my opinion on that. But again, not enough information that is known about him um, has come to light yet. Not saying that there won't be. May, hopefully someday in the future, there will be more evidence that comes to light. Not just him but to all these unvalidated cases. The next case, Mr. Francis Zouane from Lebanon, um, who's actually Ray Comfort's father-in-law, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Ray Comfort's father-in-law. I know he's related to Ray Comfort somehow. But uh, Mr. Zouane claims to have been born on January 1st, 1911. Now, he does not have, he has a bit of documentation, but he does not have enough documentation to um, prove his age um, and right there, that is quite suspicious, his age of January 1st, 1911. Um, January 1st is a placeholder birthday. It is very unlikely that he was actually born January 1st. Um, but that is a placeholder birthday. Uh, I personally think that it's possible he could have been born in 1911 sometime. And he didn't know the actual day he was born, so he just chose January 1st. Um, and there's even a slightly less chance that he was actually born in 1910. Same situation. He didn't know when the exact day he was born. Um, so he just rounded down and put January 1st, 1911. So he knows he's, you know, the minimum that age. Um, but I say it's, it's, I would say he's half likely to actually be born in 1911. He could be 111. He could be 112. Um, slight chance he may even be 113. But um, I would say he's got like, he's, he's got, he's got a chance but there's also a possibility that he was born much later. And for the sole reasons that he does have um, a son in his 40s. Um, so, I mean, he was close to 80 years old when he had his last child. I mean, possible, but unlikely. 
And the, the year 1911, again, that's a very strange thing that he was born on 1-1 slash 1-1. I mean, really, right? So I, I would say possible that Mr. Zuwain is the age claimed. Our next case is Mr. Carlos Julio Rincón Garzón, who claims to have been born December 24th, 1910, and is 112 years and 212 days. Um, so now this is a really, really weird case because um, going by pictures of Mr. Garzón, he looks much younger than the age claimed. I mean, this does not look like a 111-year-old man right here. I mean, it's possible, but I kind of doubt it that he's actually 111. 12 now. Um, I mean, he does not... So there's something weird about this case. As you can see here, something has been falsified. Um, this is supposedly a picture from his 100th birthday party. As you can see, pay attention here to his hat, shirt, and maracas, and necklace. And two years later, on his 102nd birthday party, um, he has the same hat, the same shirt, the same maracas, and the same necklace. So that's very strange, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe maybe that's a customary in Colombia, as where he's from. But I think it's a little weird. Maybe that's just his favorite shirt and favorite outfit and favorite maracas. I don't know. But that's to me, that's a little bit suspicious that he was actually wearing the same clothes and holding the same pair of maracas um, two years apart. Just my opinion. I don't know. No, that's I, that's just my opinion. Um, and some of the gerontology researchers have actually found out that there is some documentation supporting that he was born in 1915 and is only 107. But again, that's not 100% proven. So... I would have to say he's got a very low chance of actually being 112. I think he's more likely um, to be 107, in my opinion. <clears throat> now we have the case of Mr. Lorenzo Cayuna Millan, a Chilean man who claims to be 113 and was born on June 17, 1910. Um, so right off the bat, there is some weird things going on with this case. As you can see, that does not look like a 113-year-old man. Um, some super centenarians do look quite young for their age. But I'm not 100% sure that I'm convinced that Mr. Mion is actually 113. And now there's some other odd, strange things about this case. He has no documentation proving his age, for one. He keeps changing his birthday. First it was May 15th, and now it's June 17th. Um, the year's the same, however, 1910. And I've actually done some research myself, and I've discovered that um, his older sibling and his younger sibling were born too close to make him actually be born the age claimed. I mean, I mean, you know, there's no way that him and his older sibling and younger sibling could all be less than a year and a half apart. I mean, you can't have three kids in like 14 months. No, it just doesn't work that way. Um, so I would have to say that there is the only way that his age could even be remotely plausible is if the ages of both of his siblings are wrong, which I doubt. I would say that I, I believe that this man um, was probably confused with the age of his father. Um, or he was even um, confused with the age of a sibling that had predeceased him. So he may have actually been born in the 1910s, but probably more likely in the late 1910s, such as 18 or 19. But I highly doubt he's actually 113. Now that brings us to the next case, Mr. Seliman Bandang of Malaysia, who has a claimed birthday of 1910 on March 21st, and who also claims to be 113 years old. Um, again, I have some problems with this case. Um, does this man really look 113 to you? No, I, I don't think so. Um, he looks suspiciously young. Now, I'm going to say this. There have actually been no um, records, no documentation, no um, nothing against his case um, with a positive attitude. But again, there's actually been nothing for his case as well. Um, the only documentation that proves his birth is a birth certificate that was quote-unquote fashioned in 2021 from a Malaysian book of records. Um, so that's not a real birth certificate. That is a copy that is produced in uh, 2021. 
I could easily get on the internet right now and create my own birth certificate saying I was born in like 1870. Um, and that doesn't mean anything because it's not the original birth certificate. Um, there's no baptismal records, no census records um, for this man. I would say it's extremely unlikely that he was actually born in 1910. Um, the next case we come to Mr. Alvaro Jose de Souza, a Brazilian man who claims birth of February 14th, 1910. Um, now, this man actually does have better odds than a lot of the other men claimed because he's actually considered highly plausible by the GRG themselves. So I'm willing to believe that he is actually the age claimed, um, which would mean he's actually, if his age is true, he would be the second oldest living man in the world um, after Juan Vicente Perez Mora. But um, again, he's unvalidated and we need to see um, what comes from this case. Given the news reports, I will say he does look suspiciously young. Um, that brings us to the next case, Mr. Elias Chavez Alvarez, who claims to have been born in Mexico on November 8th, 1908. Um, now, there's some more weird stuff surrounding this case as well. So I've actually heard two different versions of this case. Um, so Mr. Alvarez um, has a government... ID card uh, issued in the 1980s that actually does prove he was born in 1908 and is the claimed age of 114. However, he has absolutely no early life documentation supporting his case. And the nursing home that he lives in um, apparently found him living as a homeless man a few years ago. And they actually took him in. He's got no family, um, no relatives, no nothing. However... When I contacted the news station to find out more information about Mr. Alvarez, they said that his family insisted that he was in his 90s, which is strange because according to other sources, he has no known relatives. So somebody is not telling the truth about this case, but um, I'm a bit skeptical knowing that now. Um, the next case we're going to talk about is Mr. Joao de Masanga. I recently made some videos about this man, so please go check it out if you guys haven't already. So Mr. Hawao the Misanga is actually the oldest known living man in the world who is considered plausible by the GRG. Um, he is not validated. He's considered unvalidated. Unfortunately, he does not have a page on the gerontology wiki site. If somebody can please go create a page, I would really appreciate that. I would do it myself, but I don't know anything about creating web pages. Um, so he claims a birth date of March 13th, 1908, and is currently 115 years and 133 days old. If his age is true, he would be the oldest known living man in the world and the fifth oldest known living man, um, I mean the fifth oldest man ever recorded behind Anisio Rodriguez Alves, um, Jerome Kimura, Christian Mortensen, and uh, Emiliano Mercado del Toro. So I think that his case is definitely worth looking into. I would say I would probably believe that he is, in fact, 115. There's been no evidence that has been uh, surfaced disproving or dis or unsupporting his claim, I guess I should say. Um, unfortunately, there's no early life documentation. But according to all the midlife and later life docu documents, he is the age claimed. Again... We need early life. We need three pieces of early life documentation to make him fully documented, and unfortunately, there is none that currently exists. Um, I think that some researchers need to really, really dive into his case and look more deeply into it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, according to some other researchers, some documentation has been found for his children, who were born in the early 1940s. So I mean, he can't even if his. Uh, he was probably likely born um, in the early 1920s if he has kids that were born in the 40s. But there may be kids older than that that have just not yet been discovered. So I would say that he is definitely plausible for 115. I would definitely bet some money that he is the age claimed. Um, so yeah, there's the case of Hoao de Misanga. Again, if you haven't seen the videos of him, please go check them out. And if you were able to create a page for him on the Gerontology Wiki fandom, I would really appreciate that. And that brings us to our last case, which I have done many videos about, Mr. Jose Flores Flores, who claims birth of July 11th, 1907, and might actually be 116 years and 13 days. 
So Mr. Flores is the oldest documented case, oldest living male documented case currently, um, although he is unvalidated and listed as a longevity claimant. Um, unfortunately for Mr. Flores, though, he's not fully documented. He's only partially documented because he does have a baptismal record found for him from 1907 attesting his age. And he does have church and census records um, verifying that he was born in 1907. But unfortunately, he does not have a birth certificate and he has no way to prove that um, those records belong to him. However, he does have a 95-year-old child, which definitely gives him some um, age, some credibility. <clears throat> I mean, um, a lot of researchers have pointed out he's likely 111 or higher because of his 95-year-old child. So he is probably a super centenarian, although he may not be 116 years old. Um, more, more evidence needs to be... Um, more evidence needs to be found in this case. He does um, have longevity running in his family, which is a good sign. And he is from Cañas, Guanacaste, Costa Rica, which is known for having the, some, some of the most cleanest and most breathable air in the world. So, I mean, you know, things may have just aligned perfectly for this man. Um, he just happened to so get the perfect longevity genes to make it to 116 and counting. He was born in a place with some of the cleanest air and some of the best climate. He has somehow avoided any accidents throughout his entire life. And um, he has had a very, very good, clean, healthy diet his entire life. There have also been um, some other reasons why I think he is the age claimed. He does have, um, well, okay, let me start off by saying there's no evidence that these documents actually exist. But he does claim to have um, some documents from the 1920s exempting him from uh, the military service of Costa Rica. And he also has some docu other military documents from 1948 saying that um, he fought in the Costa Rican Civil War. However, those two documents, there's no proof that they actually exist. But if those two documents ever come to light, it would definitely make his case um, very much more likely is a better way to put it. But anyway, thanks guys for checking out this video. This video was really, really long. Um, I did a lot of research on these cases before I made this video, and I, you know, it's not like I just, it's not like I just woke up one morning and just made this video. No, I spent months researching these cases and months finding out information about all these cases before I made this video. So I would really appreciate it if you guys give the video a like, and please comment down below telling me what you guys thought and what you guys think of these cases. These are all the ones that I know of. I did not include Jean Calino Noberto on this case because he's likely been debunked. There may be other cases out there that I'm not aware of, but these are the ones that I was aware of. Um, so please, please, please comment down below, and please, please, please create a uh, uh, page on the Gerontology Wiki for Mr. Joao de Misanga. I would really appreciate that. And please, please, please do not forget to click that big red subscribe button. Thanks guys for checking us out and I'll see you all next time. Later.